Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Christy if you're new here. If you are, just so you know, we have a massive giveaway going on right now. Three winners, it's open worldwide. It's only gonna go until May 1st, so you got a couple more days to enter, so make sure you're subscribed. Anyways, uh, as you know, if you are a part of my channel, I'm in the middle of a decluttering series and today I am tackling the beast. And when I say the beast, I mean my eyeshadow palettes. It's probably going to be a two part series, maybe a three part series. So it's going to be a long one. I'm going to make it as quick as possible, which is why I'm breaking it up. So if you'd like to see part one, then sit back, relax, and let's jump right into it. Okay, so where should I even begin? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. I pulled out what I could of uh, eyeshadow palettes and let's see where we go from here. Um, first, let's start with this one. It's by Too Faced. It's the Matte Eye Eyeshadow Palette. Um, very beautiful, looks like this. Don't know if any of you remember it had the classic and day fashion you know it's your pretty standard daytime palette neutral palette um honestly this is quite quite old and i really don't use it that often so i'm gonna let this go you know what this is going to be the hardest declutter ever because you know eyeshadow palettes highlighters and lipstick are my three vices it's gonna be so hard but okay i'm letting it go moving on this is the kat von d monarch palette i believe uh doesn't really say i believe it was her monarch palette oh man yeah this is so old my goodness the colors they're so vibrant and gorgeous um again i don't really use this all that much anymore but i will say this was one of my yeah this was my first kat von d palette and i loved it i wore it all the time stunning but yeah it's so old oh god i'm gonna miss you all right two down i'm being good being good oh my gosh the urban decay electric palette goodness grief i almost forgot about this bad boy i used to have so much fun with this palette uh i still do i mean these are some neon neon colors as you see it's like a total train wreck but oh gosh these colors are so vibrant and so gorgeous i don't really have anything quite quite like it so i'm gonna hang on to it for a little while longer the colors still seem in good shape so yeah i'm gonna hang on to this bad boy oh gosh this one all right guys so this one is new it's the Too faced clover palette and i did just have to repurchase a new one because i accidentally dropped mine and broke it and yeah, so when I put in my uh, Too Faced order, when I got those little clover stuffies for my giveaway that's going on right now, I also ordered myself a new clover palette because I love, love this palette. So it's sticking with me and it's for such a good cause again. I think part of the proceeds goes to animal rights or whatever. So I love this palette sticking with me. Oh, the Lime Crime Venus palette beautiful um the colors inside are absolutely stunning and gorgeous i mean beautiful beautiful shades so and they're highly pigmented you know i i can't get rid of this palette it's too pretty even though yes i do have a lot of these colors but you know what i just oh it's gonna be so hard i can't this one oh cargo uh i don't even hear about this brand anymore i don't even know if they're around cargo cosmetics this was really big a while back um i don't know the name of this palette 
Oh, it was the Northern Lights palette. So very, very beautiful colors in there. Um, I loved, what was it? This color, Glacier. Oh, so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know if I can let this one go. It's so pretty. I mean, that color alone is worth keeping. Oh, yeah, I can't. I'm, I'm going to hold on to this for a little longer. I'm horrible. I am so horrible with eyeshadows. Man, my hands are going to be nasty after this one. Good lord. The It Cosmetics um, Naturally Pretty palette looks like this. I use this all the time back in the day. Um, it's quite, quite old as you can see here. So um, I'm sure it's expired. I can tell by looking at the shadows. It's got that funky overfilm. So I've got to let that go. Bye bye. My Urban Decay Original Naked Palette. I did repurchase this one a second time. I don't remember exactly when, but I don't want to say it's too long ago. So I'm going to keep this bad boy because see, it still looks like it's in very, very good condition. And it's one of my favorites. The Original Urban Decay Naked Palette. Definitely one of my faves. The Lorac Pro palette. Was this the first one or the second one? This was the second one. Looks like this. Um, Lorac shadows, if you've never tried them, are absolutely stunning. I mean, gorgeous, beautiful. They're silky smooth. You know, they are just like, oh, they're like butter. You know, and um, look at that. They're just so pretty. And then, let me see, this blue. Look at that. Oh, so pretty and so pigmented. They're like milk cosmetics. Oh, they're just so hard. Um, I'm going to hold on to this one. I'm going to hold on to it. This one was another die hard that I use all the time. It's the Naked 3 palette. Um, I never got the Naked 2 palette. I jumped from the Naked 1 to the Naked 3 because I didn't really, wasn't into the Naked 2. Um, this one I think I also repurchased because it was one of my all time favorites and it's just all those beautiful rosy colors and this one in particular, let me see. I loved this color, which was the color Trick. Looks like this. I know it's just a peachy gold, but it's just stunning. Stunning, stunning on the eye. So I'm going to keep that. Now this one is Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. This is basically where I stopped buying the Naked palettes um, until the Wild West palette just came out. This one was good, um, but as you see, I didn't use it an awful, awful lot. Um, for some reason, a lot of the colors were somewhat patchy and the shimmers weren't as nice. Um, I think I'm going to pass this one along to a friend of mine because I did just get the new Melt Cosmetics Mary Jane palette that is literally a dupe for this that I know is going to be 10 times better. So it's not expired, I believe, but I'm gonna just pass it along. Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Um, this one was cute. Not one of my favorites from them for sure. Um, I liked the newer one that came out this year, the Pumpkin Spice. So I'm going to be good and I'm going to pass this bad boy along. This one, I was highly disappointed. Oh, I was so mad. I actually was going to do a tutorial on it. I had it in my Instagram stories. It was the Alice in Wonderland um, palette by Ziza or ZC. Um, it's some Chinese brand and uh, comes with the brush. Let me take the brush out so it doesn't fall out. Um, looks like this. I mean, it looks gorgeous, 
but the pigment is not there and it's just it really is junk and I hate saying that I'm so sorry trust me these indie brands I I love them but there's a lot of hit and misses out there so this is definitely a miss for me um, I almost want to keep it just for the packaging and maybe display it because I mean look at this it is gorgeous so maybe that's what I'm gonna do put it in like a shadow box like I was talking about with my limited edition stuff and you know that way the money doesn't go to waste uh, this is an old Tarte palette um, I forget which collection this was from Oh man, I used to use this all the time. Rainforest After Dark palette. And looks like this is your beautiful standard palette. I used to wear this to work quite often and I did like the blush inside a lot. You know what? I have so many neutral palettes. I'm going to pass this along. Another Tarte palette. Make Believe in Yourself. Beautiful packaging again. They were going on with these round palettes for a while. Oh yes, this one I did like quite a bit because it had these beautiful, gorgeous shimmers in it. So pretty. Look at that. Yeah. I love, love my chromes and shimmers as you know. So I'm going to hang on to this bad boy. Oh, eyeshadows make me happy. Oh, my Huda Beauty Nude palette um this one i like a heck of a lot more than her last one from this past year that i did a review and a video on i forget the name of it off the top of my head i'm having a brain fart i don't know um but yeah this one is much nicer yes it still does have some of the chunky glitters in it um but i I wouldn't say this one is nearly as bad. There's still some stick to it. So I'm going to hold on to this one. And I love the mattes in this one as well. So yeah, hold on to that bad boy. Makeup Forever. I believe this was a limited edition. It was their 15 pan artist palette. Um, gorgeous gorgeous colors oh you know the one that got me right away was these greens especially this bad boy right here and these shimmers like so beautiful oh i'm stretching okay there we go yeah very very pretty in that purple you're always going to get amazing quality with Makeup Forever. Oh, I love their brushes, um, meaning their eye brushes, their face brushes. Their, they are made for makeup artists. The brand itself is like for makeup artists. So yeah, I'm holding on to that bad boy for sure. This one, the Smashbox on the Rocks palette. Oh, just the packaging alone is so gorgeous, right? like oh, so beautiful it even has like the diamond crystal in the middle of the palette look at that right there that's so cool um this is a beautiful palette uh it's so hard to get rid of uh you know what i didn't use the this that often i'm gonna let it go ah, damn this is hard damn I need, this is where I need therapy. I need therapy, folks. Uh, the Too Faced Unicorn Palette. This one alone, oh my gosh, the packaging, of course, got me. Life's a Festival Palette. Super stinking cute and adorable. I will say that, if I remember correctly, the pigment wasn't, like, amazing, let me say. Oh, actually, no, yeah, those are actually beautiful colors. I don't know. All right, well, I'm hanging on to that then. Sorry, that's staying. I'm trying, I am trying, and I'm getting rid of quite a bit. Hold on with me. The Tarte Let palette, okay. 
I use this mainly for a mirror, guys. Um, I have these colors. They're so standard colors, and the pigment isn't that amazing in this palette that I hardly ever, I don't even use it really anymore, so I'm going to pass that along. See, I'm being good. I'm being good. Yeah. Too Faced Sugar Pop Palette. Oh my god, look how cute with the little macaroons. Oh, I am such a sucker for packaging. It's ridiculous. I swear, if it was in the perfect packaging, I'd buy it if it was crap. But, oh, that's pretty. Let me check this blue color. Okay. Yeah, you know what? This is adorable. I'm keeping this. I threw out my other little Too Faced palette, so I'm keeping this one. I'm like trying to justify it to you all. Please don't judge me. Again, I've been collecting these palettes for so many years. It's like crazy. A lot of these are very, very old, but I hang on to them because they're sentimental and I just haven't gone through them. This is like one of the first Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture palette. Oh, it's the World Traveler palette. Oh, I remember this one. Yeah, I do believe this was one of their very, very first palettes like ever. What was this? Pink Champagne? Oh, this was pretty. Yeah, these are some pretty colors. Okay, you know what? Uh, that blue alone is worth keeping for. Whew. Yeah, still in very, very good condition. And it's got some of my favorite, my two favorite colors, Morocco and Fudge from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm keeping this palette. These are all my adorable Jessie Girl. Um backstage collection palettes they were super great from the drugstore but they are quite old um love them but again like i said they're pretty old except maybe this one so maybe i'll pass this one along and the other two i will trash doing good doing good moving along here folks Okay, this is the Kylie Grinch palette. Obviously, this just came out this year, this past Christmas, and I was surprised at Christmas time with the entire collection. I have not even used this bad boy. It is still, literally, the plastic is still on there. I was going to do a tutorial, but then everybody else and their mother and brother did a tutorial with it. And of course, the greens. As you know, I'm a sucker for green shadows. I love them. And plus, it's the Grinch. Are you kidding me? It's like one of my all-time favorites. So, that's staying for sure. These are my old DH Cosmetic palettes. Do you guys remember these? The Wild Hearts. Um, or wait... One is Wild at Heart, and one is Wild and Free, and Wild Child. So these were like their baked shadows. Very beautiful. Um, you know, especially for BH Cosmetics. I'm not always a huge fan of their shadows because they're not always that pigmented. But these were actually quite good. But they're pretty old, and I mean... Yeah, I don't know. I really love this one, the blue and green one. I think this is the only one I'm going to keep, and the other two I'm going to pass along. Ugh, my old MAC palette. This one I actually made and depotted myself, and it also has the blush and blush bronzer and um, powder for, you know, baking and under eyes and whatnot this would always be in my kit and whatnot um i had basically i got to pick out the colors one of some of my favorite colors like naked and i believe this is like amber lights and you know just gorgeous gorgeous colors um 
Yeah, I'm going to hold on to this because it's honestly one of the very first palettes that I ever, like, made myself. And it's sentimental, you know, when I really first started getting big into makeup. So it's sticking. Sticking with me. The NARS Steven Klein palette. Is this a blush palette? Oh, yeah, it's a blush and bronzing palette. Ugh, beautiful. Okay, definitely keeping that. Oh, another Makeup Forever, the Nine Artist palette looks like this. And here's the colors, another very neutrally palette, golds, blacks, you know, beiges, nothing special. I'm gonna pass this along. Okay, the Alice Looking Glass. Obviously, again, because of Disney and the packaging, I'm a sucker for it. I bought this palette. It's so beautiful, too. Like, you open it up, and it's got the mirror, and then, like, you pull these little... I'm trying to do this looking in the monitor. Good lord. Okay, well, one thing if you do not know about me, I am obsessed with butterflies. So, I mean, this packaging, it's ridiculously stunning. And then this slides out like this. I believe it comes, yeah, all the way out. But then you can literally just use this and, you know, it looks almost fake. I swear, doesn't it? But it has got some gorgeous, gorgeous colors here. Let me swatch a few for you this beautiful green but yeah look at that oh so pretty and this oh magenta color let me get this bad boy look at that so pretty yeah I wouldn't throw that out regardless because it was limited edition Disney Alice in Wonderland I mean no ma'am there's no way I would part with this so beautiful but yeah, I just had to show you the packaging as well. The other Venus palette by Lime Crime. Lime Crime is another one of those that has just amazing pigment. And their shadows are just stunners. Like, oh, this blue and um, this like sagey green color. So pretty. Oh, the sparkle and that green. And even this mustard color. Some people hate the mustards. Oh, I love them. They look gorgeous. Especially if you actually have blue or green eyes. Try some mustard on your eyes. You'd be surprised. It makes them really, really pop. They're gorgeous colors to wear. So this one is fairly new. It's by Melt Cosmetics Smoke Sessions. And no, I don't smoke. But, uh yeah this is gorgeous it's got my greens and my golds two of my absolute favorites and these are a stunners i'm telling you like oh so gorgeous look at this green like hello beautiful it's so gorgeous like no no way definitely keeping that this Violet Boss Pro Palette, the hashtag Pro Palette, I do like Violet Boss. She usually has amazing palettes and colors um, and her shimmers. Beautiful, beautiful. This one, again, is not that old. I didn't get it that long ago, so I'm definitely keeping this. And this palette i'm actually wearing on my eyes today and i threw this in because one i wanted you to guys see this look it's actually one of my favorite eye looks that i've done in a while it's just fun and it matched my shirt and it just i feel very springtime with this palette but also this palette there's three of them to go in my giveaway to the three winners that will win you know, it's one of the palettes, but there's many other things as well. But look at these colors. I mean, so beautiful. Again, like I said, you've got all your neutrals right here. 
then it goes into like your pinks and purples your blues and greens so it's absolutely stunning and as you see here like the pigment payoff is really nice spot on so yeah i would definitely suggest picking this bad boy up um i bought them at ulta so again there's three of them in my giveaway right now so the three winners will be receiving this palette along with many many others many other makeup items and eyeshadow palettes and you get the idea these are another ones of my kit eyeshadows okay they are makeup geek eyeshadows and anastasia beverly hills remember when makeup geek was like the shit you know everybody and their mother and brother would be buying these shadows because you could get them for like such a cheap price and magnetic and you could just like make your own z palettes everybody loved it it was so great you know even if you weren't a makeup artist it just gave you you know the room to be creative and pick the colors that you wanted to pick at not such crazy prices but yeah i definitely am going to keep these bad boys because I made them myself so obviously they are colors that I love and that I use quite often as you see they've gone through the wreckage these palettes are also fairly new and um, I love them to death they were an investment but I'm a big ABH fan um, this is her blue palette I will open each one and show you and this one is her like orangey neutrally palette and her purple palette. I believe she's got four all together. I think there's a pink one as well, but yeah, I've got these three. So these are like their pro, they're like $60 a piece. But if you go onto beautylish.com, this is how I get in trouble. If you go into beautylish.com, you can pay like the afterpay payments and you know it's not terrible that way or you can have do the beautylish payments yeah um i shouldn't tell you this because i'll get you in trouble with your makeup addiction as well but oh they are stunners i swear like they're so beautiful but yeah like whoo baby look at those colors gorgeous so that's her purple palette love love her orange palette okay and yeah they're like pro pigment palette volume one volume two volume three that's how they're you know how they go see this one's like mainly oranges and some greens and this oh vibrant purple which is a stunner and i love this color as well gorgeous look at those can you tell i am just oh i love my shimmers i love good mattes though as well um just like the dominique cosmetics transitions palette it's all matte and i use that palette constantly so it's not just shimmers i you know i have different moods like everybody and then her blue palette this is volume two this one is mainly blues and some purples and pinks and silvers so i definitely love this silver i have tried that blue um and I don't know. I'll just do this one. But yeah. Gorgeous. See that? So, but yeah. Even the mattes. I mean, they're so smooth and buttery and just gorgeousness. So, I would highly recommend these palettes. They are pricey as heck. But if you, uh, you know, are in the market for some really colorful palettes... I think I pulled like a lot of my colorful palettes for some weird reason. I did have some neutrals, but um, all right, I'll do two last ones and then the rest will wait for the next one. 
my Lorac Pro Mega Pro 2 palette. I missed out on the Mega Pro 1 palette, the red one. Uh, stunner, stunner. Okay, and another thing I love is huge ass mirror, but you can flip it completely over. So then you have, I know they look like really small pans, but you've got so many colors. And again, they are just like butter to work with. Like... They're so pretty and gorgeous. Like, look at that. Like, just stunning. Forget which color. Okay. But yeah, I think that's their matte. So pretty. So yeah, I'm definitely hanging on to this one because it's got every color you could possibly imagine from your lavenders to your you know berry colors silvers golds blues greens whites you know so it's that's why it's called a pro palette for sure so and then last but not least this is a neutral palette that i use a lot and it's by ColourPop. It's called Bare Necessities. I would definitely highly suggest this palette and your Stone Cold Fox palette, okay? That one will be in um, part two of my eyeshadow palette declutter. Again, no, I'm not getting rid of this. It is stunning, and I use it constantly. I know it doesn't look like it, but they are beautiful, beautiful colors, like... Uh, this orangey one I use all the time and this silvery one look at those colors this one's a matte like top color taupe top and then like a coppery color and like a silvery gold color so beautiful I mean you're looking for an all day every day neutral palette with your you know tans and browns and golds oh this is gorgeous and even if they are sold out on colourpop.com do not forget they sell them at ulta and i believe they are on they're in stock Blah. you know me i can never talk through an entire video but um yeah because i know the stone cold fox one people are like it's out of stock it's always out of stock on colourpop.com just go over to ulta ulta.com not even the store because i don't know if it's in store but um buy it online because i've seen it many many times and it's usually in stock but anyways um yes this is part one i feel like i did pretty good making a dent in my eyeshadow palette um <laughs> There's still a ton more to go through. It may be even a three-parter because I don't want to make each video super long. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know you were waiting for my eyeshadow palettes even though I was kind of putting it off because ugh, it kills me to get rid of my eyeshadow palettes. But you know what? Some of them really did need to go and some of them I was ready to pass along. I don't use them. Might as well get use from, you know, somebody else that's going to, you know, be happy with them. But anyways, yeah, I hope you guys are uh, continuing to like this series. And if you'd like me to do part two of the eyeshadow palettes next, then just give this video a thumbs up and comment below. If not, you know, comment below which you'd like me to dive into next because we still have to hit lipsticks, bronzers, um, face powders, eyeliners, lip liners. There's still an array, array of different things to um, hit. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next and I'll jump on that for you. I'll make sure that I get up at least one declutter uh, video a week. That's what I've been trying for. So along with my other videos. So there's you know a little bit for everybody in there. Anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you all are doing very well, and I will see you all in my next video. Don't forget about that giveaway. Bye, guys.